We would like to raise our concern on the increased use of land as a campaign agenda in this country. The politicians seeking various political positions are using the land issues for political mileage, an aspect which is not only dangerous to peace and stability of our great nation, but also likely to sabotage our economy. The Constitution provides that a Kenyan can own land anywhere they choose to live or invest. The tribe, race, or religion as a basis of land ownership anywhere is really unfortunate, especially coming from the political class. The issue, while we note that land seems to be a tool of convenience to the politicians, our history has shown us how dangerous it can be in kindling anxiety, hatred, hostility, and conflict among communities. We suspect that some people are going back to their ancestral homes, apparently running away from perceived fear of perennial land-related conflicts during this period. Furthermore, there have been incidents where ongoing efforts in line with the land reforms, including issues of title deeds, the land leases issues, resolution of historical land injustice, amongst others, have been demonized and capitalized for political mileage. It is important to note that the country has made significant progress in a bid to address land issues. We recommend as follows. Issues related to land to be left to the experts. We urge the politicians to stop making disturbing comments on land, but to encourage implementation of the enabling legal and institutional framework. The National Assembly, as people's representative, can further enhance the legal framework to promote productive use of land for peace and prosperity. Political parties to implore upon their nominees at all levels to desist from using the land question in their campaigns. The government and parliament will ensure that the land regulations being developed are finalized and gazetted within the shortest time possible. More support is required to the relevant institutions so as to effectively undertake their mandate. Kenyans should desist from being used by politicians for political reasons by using land as an agenda during this electioneering period. The institution is ready to give support to any initiative that promotes the re realization of the above recommendations. And that is our statement.